Hi, thanks for attending the lecture on sustained acoustic medicine for soft tissue injuries and chronic pain management. Uh, my name is George Lewis. I will be the presenter today. Um, uh, briefly about uh, me, uh, well, I've been doing ultrasound research for uh, almost 30 years. I grew up doing uh, ultrasound research in my dad's lab uh, at uh, Analogic in Peabody, Massachusetts and then later have uh, did my PhD and uh, graduate studies and even undergraduate studies in ultrasound related research. I'm the scientist and inventor of long duration ultrasound and I'm also the president of uh, Zetra Systems which is the manufacturer of uh, sustained acoustic medicine or long duration ultrasound technologies. So uh, as a, a disclosure I, I am the, uh, uh, the patent holders of the, the 40 plus patents behind Zetra along with a team of engineers uh, and scientists that have helped uh, foster this technology through the years. Um, so our portfolio is really focused on pain management, uh, reducing uh, the need for surgery, as well as accelerating soft tissue repair with uh, long duration ultrasound. And uh, in the last uh, you know, few years, uh, and just recently, we were featured by the National Institutes of Health uh, at the Pain Symposium in June, as well as the Global Healthcare Innovation Summit. Uh, really, we've just begun to start shaping the world uh, with um, a uh, ultrasonic stimulus applied multiple hours a day in the home environment. And classically, ultrasound has been used for many decades in physical therapy in the athletic training room, but never has it migrated for you know daily home use uh, to deliver a high dose. And that's what the SAM platform is all about. So the objective of this presentation is primarily focused on uh, reviewing the clinical evidence and the clinical studies. Uh, these studies have been conducted by Duke, Cornell, Ohio State, um, just to name a few. Recently, Weil and uh, Albert Einstein in, in New York City. Uh, there's been a lot of research thanks to the uh, National Institutes of Health and other federal agencies. And this uh, presentation is really an overview here of the utilization of sustained acoustic medicine for the treatment of soft tissue injuries and chronic pain, uh, such as joint osteoarthritis or upper neck and shoulder pain. Uh, we're gonna focus on the last decade of research, uh, you know, of high dose imagery ultrasound from 2010 to current, 2020, the latest research that's uh, been published in the peer reviewed literature. And then we'll talk about some of the uh, emerging trends in the uh, literature, which I think will be very exciting uh, for, for you to learn about. Um, so what is long duration continuous ultrasound uh, or SAM, sustained acoustic medicine as the acronym? It's the only FDA approved non-surgical drug free uh, device to treat chronic pain and accelerate soft tissue repair. It was FDA approved in 2013 and later uh, established the specific home use indication in 2020 uh, due to the safety and efficacy profile of the technology. It's been heavily invested in by the uh, National Institutes of Health, uh, NASA, the Space Program, Department of Defense, DOD, uh, National Science Foundation, as well as private uh, foundations. Uh, the primary reason for the uh, funding, and there's from day one to today, there's been about you know, 100 million in uh, product development, clinical research, uh, basic science research, looking at the mechanism of action of how the device works, uh, mono optimizing the dosimetry, and then of course, translating that into uh, clinical trials, human use and regulatory approvals, both here on the United States as well as across the globe. So uh, it's not inexpensive doing medical technology, but we are blessed that we've been able to treat over 250,000 patients. Um, and uh, we've had well over 20, 20 clinical studies, uh, all still manufactured here in the United States, which is wonderful. Uh, we have four plants and we're helping a lot of people. The, the key thing here, though, is we're not electrical based. We're not a shocking technology. We're not an electromagnetic device. SAM is ultrasound. It's classically the same type of ultrasound used in the physical therapy setting, but at a higher dose delivered daily uh, to uh, allow for um, you know, stimulating sort of mechanotransduction responses, which we'll talk about later. The device is really shown in these slides. Uh, it's a two part system. You have the actual reusable ultrasound device which is powered by a medical grade battery pack, two ultrasound transducers that have these lenses 
that spread the energy into the tissue in sort of a column format. That prevents the uh, buildup of any sort of standing waves or thermal hot spots. Um, it protects the patient as well as allows for the continuous stimulus, continuous ultrasound. And that's connected to the body with an ultrasonic coupling patch, which is shown there. We partnered with 3M uh, Science Applied to Life Technologies to develop the absolute best non-woven adhesive and multi-hour coupling patch available. Uh, it, it, it's a really amazing technology. It's the same uh, technology that's used for chemotherapy patients who have to undergo um, drug delivery uh, device or pick line placement every day. Uh, so it's really for sensitive skin. It allows for multiple stretch. And of course, the SAM uh, patch, it's also made to be active with. So you'll see, you know, athletes uh, in the NFL or NBA, I think we were just on the HBO Hard Knocks a few few weeks ago um, in the locker room, uh, the device being used for rehabbing a, an injury. So pr pretty exciting stuff, but let's get into the science. Mm. So SAM it delivers 20,000 joules or 18,720 joules of energy per four hour treatment. That is quite a bit more than a, a typical ultrasonic bone growth stimulator, which will deliver 70, 700 joules over a 20 minute treatment and uh, more than traditional ultrasound applied in the physical therapy or athletic training environment, um, which delivers around 2000 joules over a 15 minute period. So four hours of treatment, 18,720 joules of dose and dose symmetry is incredibly important. What's most effective about ultrasound is the device or these mechanical effects are physically active when the device is on. As soon as the ultrasound turns off, 95% of those stimuli are gone and washed out relatively quickly. So uh, the long duration dose is critical to the treatment success. And this has been uh, further validated, not with only our technology, but in meta-analysis of the literature, looking at the appropriate dose for the clinical treatment of a tendinopathy, for example, or for the management of knee osteoarthritis pain. Dose is very important. Regular and sustained dose to modulate the inflammatory cascade and accelerate collagen matrix rebuilding is a critical staple of how um, ultrasound and how SAM itself is an effective treatment. Over the first uh, approximately five to 10 years of development, it started around 2006 up to around 2012, 13 time frame. There was a lot of research and science based at the animal and cellular level. So there were studies at looking at the mechanism of action of long duration shear forces or mechanical energy on tissues. Uh, it was demonstrated to stimulate collagen matrix rebuilding, uh, stimulate angiogenesis, which is the development of new blood vessels. Um, it increases the mass transfer. Um, it's called acoustic streaming, and we have a great video to show it. Uh, I'll present in a little bit that sort of stimulates the mass transfer or transport kinetics and tissue to upregulate the healing cascade, increase blood flow. All these sort of mechanisms lead to you know clinical outcomes of accelerated healing and, and pain relief for the patient. A great review article uh, by Best and colleagues, uh, uh, Best uh, with Ohio State and uh, T. Mormon there from Duke on a low intensity ultrasound for promoting soft tissue healing. I'll, I'll touch briefly on it in, uh, later on in the presentation. But here's the pre Tissue uh, remodeling is a complex physiological response that occurs after an injury. Natural limitations to this process often lead to mechanically inferior tissue, adhesions, and chronic pain conditions, especially in tendons which have limited blood and nutrient supply. Sustained Acoustic Medicine, or SAM, is a new wearable technology that utilizes mechanical ultrasound waves to promote the healing cascade. Different from traditional ultrasound, SAM applies a mild mechanical stimulation to the tissue over multiple hours, providing enhanced recovery benefits. SAM's continuous ultrasound waves produce a convective flow called acoustic streaming up to 5 centimeters into tissue. Combined with an increase in heat and circulation, the sustained mechanical pressure increases the bulk flow, pumping nutrients and growth factors throughout damaged areas, enhancing natural healing. When SAM is applied, the mechanical forces activate cell membrane receptors, enhancing cellular proliferation. One important mechanism is the upregulation of transforming growth factor beta, which increases type 1 and type 3 collagen deposition and promotes native tissue regeneration. The result is greater tensile strength and improved biomechanical properties of the tendon.
Sustained Acoustic Medicine. Sam. So the uh, that video there is uh, available at uh, on our website as well as on our YouTube channel. And uh, you know, from day one to today, it, you know, Sam's pretty much been used by almost all professional and collegiate athletes who get get injured uh, that have it available through their insurance carriers uh, now. Uh, military athletes, veterans, and uh, we're excited to be you know sponsors and, and um, healthcare providers for pretty much every USA team, uh, NFL athletic trainers, uh, NBA athletic trainers, et cetera. So it's a great partnership and uh, it, it's really fun working with not only the, the athletes in healing, you know, the younger population as well as working with our elite soldiers and troops all the way down to, you know, geriatric patients in uh, the, the Veterans Health Administration. So uh, the mechanisms of action are, are very, very similar. Uh, really no difference is what is difference between a younger patient and an older patient is the healing response time a young patient will respond within two weeks sometimes in a week with sam treatment versus an older patient will respond a little bit longer usually in the, the period of six to ten weeks and we'll talk about real world outcomes data uh, later on so in the clinical overview there's three pillars here uh, with sustained acoustic medicine there are the classical double r double blind rcts on you know pain tendinopathies uh, osteoarthritis there's also um, what's uh, called real world outcome studies these are case cohorts of sam being covered by insurance and applied to a patient and utilized and tracking those patients through the care continuum and returning those patients to work and then finally uh, there's been some cost effectiveness studies done showing where uh, sam can be integrated into the care continuum of patients and how it can be determined in clinical decision making as a potential care pathway to provide value um, as a cost effective uh, treatment versus let's say a surgery an opioid or um, just using conservative care and not necessarily technically healing the patient consolidated references are on the presentation um, you can see here that there's quite a few of them now these aren't all the, the papers but we have level 1a which are the meta-analysis and reviews level 1b are the classical double blind rct studies level 4 are case reports and case series uh, and uh, what we're excited about for 2020 uh, sam is now sort of implemented in almost uh, every academic curriculum in the united states it's in the five five books uh, as a, a pretty broad sections of chapters in those textbooks, um, you know, talking about long duration ultrasound and its impact on soft tissue healing. So the, the first study here is called uh, low intensity ultrasound for soft tissue healing, a systematic review of the literature and medical technology. Uh, again, Ohio State and Duke. Um, the, the main outcome here in this meta analysis was reviewing not only the clinical evidence, but also the animal evidence. Uh, there are some certain things they could do with the animal studies that you can't do in humans tear strengths break strengths uh heal times uh so the the consensus of the article was the use of sam and tendon muscle ligament and tendon bone junction injuries is improved supported by the literature and proven um it really uh improves the connectivity of uh of the of the tissue strength particularly after a surgery or a partial tear it allows that collagen matrix to rebuild and reintegrate whether it's through the tendon or at a bone tendon bone ligament uh, junction. So in the post-surgical arena or a pre-surgical arena, SAM's been really uh, uh, being utilized as a conservative intervention to amplify the body's healing cascade. In uh, more of a mechanistic study here by Draper and colleagues, uh, it was the intramuscular heating characteristics of SAM. So, so SAM is considered low intensity, long duration ultrasound. But, but just, just because it's low intensity doesn't mean it doesn't generate significant diathermy. Because it's on the body and it's, that energy is being absorbed, you can actually see the curve here that over the first 30 minutes or so, uh, the temperature slowly increases by one, two, three. And then around 80 minutes, uh, the temperature maximizes at four degrees C centigrade. Uh, the body cannot withstand much more than four degrees C centigrade. Uh, before you start generating a thermal lesion. So part of the dose symmetry studies we did early on was really maximizing the therapeutic dose uh, within the safety profile of the patient and maintaining that for long duration. So uh, three megahertz uh, low intensity ultrasound delivers vigorous diathermy, vigorous deep heat 
for the patient uh, upwards of five centimeters into the tissue. Interestingly, uh, the patient within the first 15 to 20 minutes will actually not even realize it's on anymore because your, your patients are, or proprioception is really good at measuring change, but once the change has happened, you kind of forget about it and lose that sensation. So most patients will report almost that I don't even feel anything or maybe just mild soothing sensation. Uh, a study here too on uh, tendinopathy. Uh, this is sustained acoustic medicine, wearable long duration ultrasound treatment for tendinopathy. Uh, Bess and colleagues, um, what's interesting about this study was in, in, in tendinopathies, particularly chronic or even acute, uh, the response the response from patients is very quick. It inhibits the inflammatory response. It flushes out the inflammatory milieu that's there. Uh, patients will, within uh, the first week of treatment, have significant pain uh, pain reductions. Over the course of treatment, functional improvements, grip strength, uh, range of motion will continue to improve. And classically, SAM is using this paradigm for four hours a day, five days a week. You request seven days a week, but five days a week. And within six weeks, you'll have resolution of a acute tendinopathy to a chronic tendinopathy. If it's a real severe chronic tendinopathy, out eight to 10 weeks uh, with resolution of, with daily treatment. And this will even resolve you know, necrotic areas, calcificate calcific tendinopathies of such like the rotator cuff. In a study here in 2013 on upper back and neck pain, this is a 30 uh, subject double blind RCT on patients with chronic upper back pain trigger points. Um, SAM was used only for one hour and with one hour of treatment during the episodic pain, there was a 20 to 28% pain reduction versus the placebo of 6%. Uh, it was the conclusion of the authors by um, uh, myself as well as uh, Dr. Ortiz was that a long duration ultrasound reduced chronic pain in the home setting. This is the first study we ever did on a chronic pain population in 2013. Um, we were further funded later on um, with uh, Patterson and colleagues, and uh, Patterson and Ortiz again had a, a clinical trial. Now, this was a 33 patient uh, study, double blind, on uh, upper back and neck pain. This study uh, was not for only one hour, it was for four hours of SAM treatment daily. And over the four hour course, the active group had a 46% pain reduction. Uh, over the four-week treatment versus the placebo, uh, statistically significant. Uh, what's also exciting about this study was they looked at global health improvement, how the patient was responding and overall quality of life. The active group had a 2.84 global health improvement versus the placebo of 0.46. So significant better gains for overall health with daily use of SAM for a chronic myofascial trigger point of the neck and upper upper back. There's been uh, quite a bit of research too now on SAM for knee osteoarthritis and osteoarthritis in general. Some early pilots um, back in uh, 2014 and 2015 were conducted by Langer and colleagues. Uh, on patients, you see a 19 subject and 47 subject double blind RCT. Those studies demonstrated anywhere between a 40 to 52% uh, pain reduction. Uh, for the patients and a 20% improvement in mobility. And, and by the way, all these um, studies are access, they're public access on, on the NIH and PubMed. So you can literally just go to the presentation, click the links and get access to the studies uh, if you wanna dive in a little bit. Uh, on the 47 subject uh, RCT, you can see over the course of the uh, six week treatment, four hours a day, five days a week, uh, after about week one to two, there's a clear breakaway from placebo. The placebo uh, treatment, which is a device that looks like it works, uh, doesn't produce any ultrasonic energy, uh, pretty much flatlines around a 15% pain reduction versus the active treatment continues to uh, go down, improved uh, you know, pain as well as reduced uh, improved mobility. The study was repeated again in a similar manner by uh, Draper and colleagues, uh, a 90 subject double blind RCT, uh, with patients with moderate to severe knee osteoarthritis, similar results, 40% pain reduction in the active and a 500 point improvement in the WOMAC compared to the placebo, all uh, statistically uh, significant and uh, clinically meaningful, uh, providing guidance that SAM could be used as a conservative intervention for uh, knee pain patients. And then more recently uh, in 2020, um, uh, Argwal and colleagues uh, did a 32 subject study 
on SAM combined with sonophresis, which is a uh, drug delivery of diclofenac within the SAM patch. So it was the SAM device combined with diclofenac, an anti-inflammatory uh, drug. And exciting results, uh, within one week of SAM treatment, uh, patients had a about a 70% pain reduction, which is uh, absolutely amazing. Uh, patients, uh, uh, a very strong patient response and a 510 point improvement on the Womax. So uh, compared to uh, the SAM alone, uh, which provides about a 40% pain reduction, when you merge it with sonophoresis, uh, patients had a 70% pain reduction uh, within one week. Uh, some recent evidence here too with sonophoresis and basic science, a study was uh, conducted by um, Madison and colleagues, uh, and this is uh, published in the Journal of Therapeutic Delivery, uh, demonstrating that SAM will increase the delivery of topical NSAIDs by about 3.8 times or 380% uh, over standard of care or topical control. So it's not only um, uh, delivering it deeper, it's delivering it more quickly. So a topical NSAID like diclofenac or um, a salicylic acid uh, will go deeper into the joint space to more effectively target it. And what's exciting here is that it, the systemic dose remains incredibly low. So instead of taking an oral pill and having a high systemic dose and a low localized dose, it's, this is a complete reversal. We're delivering a, a high local dose and a very, very low systemic dose. And uh, beyond the sort of the, the clinical studies, uh, real world evidence is beginning to emerge. This is what's called uh, real world outcome studies. This is from a cohort of 77 patients in Colorado who got SAM covered by their insurance, uh, and they were used for uh, returning the patient back to work after conservative inter intervention uh, failed. 77 patients in this cohort. And, uh, if you break it out into you know, elbow, shoulder, and back, uh, it takes about eight weeks to return patients back to work, or what's called maximum medical improvement. So in this study, uh, you can see here, both for elbow and shoulder, patients had 19 and 24 physical therapy sessions respectively without responding to treatment and being out of work. SAM was uh, then introduced into the treatment algorithm four hours a day, seven days a week. And after eight weeks of SAM, all patients returned to work. There were a five point and six point improvements in the elbow and shoulder score and ADL and functional scores. Uh, for these patient populations. So uh, this, this actually data mirrors the, the, the best and colleague study that was a controlled uh, case versus the real world outcome. And similar results on the back for a lumbar region, again, a little bit uh, more uh, longer time to return to work, but, but similar, 10 weeks for the SAM cohort. So if you look here, there were 34 treatment, physical therapy treatment sessions, patients not responding, SAM was covered, uh, introduced them to care for 10 weeks, and improvements in ADL, work, leisure, anxiety, and the patients all return to work after uh, SAM treatment. So really exciting uh, studies from the real world coming in on, on SAM treatment. Uh, this has been uh, cross-validated with academic uh, SAM cost analysis models. You can see here, um, classically, uh, an injured uh, athlete or worker will end up costing around $40,000 to the healthcare system indemnity, out of work costs, and medical costs. Uh, when SAM is introduced really early into the treatment, ca uh, treatment care pathway, uh, rest, ice, compression, elevation, maybe some minor NSAIDs, physical therapy, plus SAM, patients get back to work in around eight to 10 weeks, much less for the athlete who's gonna recover more quickly, but an average worker, eight to 10 weeks, costs around $12,000. The more traditional care pathway prior to SAM was like TENS devices, pulse magnetic stimulators, uh, injections, cortisones, and uncomplicated surgery, uh, leading to a, uh, a cost of around $40,000. So there's a net savings of approximately $30,000 when SAM is introduced. And that's why it's being adopted by uh, insurance carriers and how we brought in you know, more, more market access for the technology. Um, in 2022, some additional exciting stuff. We're in five textbooks. We've uh, received the, um, you know, sort of the the seal of approval from a number of professional organizations who have adopted SAM. Um, and two recent studies came out that are really exciting. The first one is, is SAM uh, on a real case cohort of professional athletes returned after after conservative intervention had been failing. SAM was introduced into the equation 
and 50% of those, uh, over 50% of those athletes return back to play after use of SAM for a pretty short period of time. So check out that study by Draper and Wilk. Uh, it's on uh, PubMed. And then a recent study published on the SAM should be considered as a cost-effective non-surgical treatment option. Uh, best at Patterson and Planter and colleagues, uh, this was um, University of Miami, Weill Cornell, and Albert Einstein, just did an amazing job doing a cost, a health, health cost analysis on where SAM falls compared to physical therapy alone, uh, hyaluronic acid injections, as well as NSAIDs, non-steroidal anti-inflammatories. And uh, it was determined as a, a really cost-effective solution that should be considered in the care of patients with, with chronic pain or chronic joint, joint pain. Treatment cases. So um, what's unique about SAM is e each ultrasound transducer treats approximately the size of a grapefruit, baseball to grapefruit. So placement is not incredibly critical, but important enough that it needs to be one to, one transducer should be always applied, applied directly over the lesion and one proximal or near the lesion to increase vasodilatory effects. Uh, usually we put it a little bit closer to the heart, so down downstream to create the vasodilation versus for not, not as far downstream. Um, placement protocols are all available on the website. Uh, we do a lot of uh, protocol education and training. Uh, some of it's self-explanatory, whether it's a high ankle sprain, a metatarsal fracture, frozen shoulder, neck spasm, uh, one applicator directly over, one applicator proximal to it to sort of saturate the area. And on a daily treatment basis, the patient can actually move it around, or if they're coming back into the athletic training facility or physical therapy setting, uh, you can show them how to place it for the next treatment, though it's not required. It's already been approved for home use and patient self-application. Uh, other treatment cases, uh, we do a lot of hip uh, bursitis and hip OA and tendons, uh, calf muscles, abductors, ML MCL, uh, knee OA and patella. Uh, the, the itises and otises are very effectively treated with SAM. What is not effectively treated with SAM is nonspecific pain. So nonspecific fibromyalgia, nonspecific lower back pain. Uh, it, SAM's not magical. It works on the inflammatory, the COX-1, COX-2 pathways. It works to stimulate collagen matrix rebuilding and angiogenesis. So it works on tissues that either are halted in healing or need to be healed more quickly, um, as well as inhibiting the inflammatory response. It's not for just random uh, pain. It actually needs to work on a specific target. So in summary today, um, long duration sustained acoustic medicine, um, SAM, is a treatment that was approved by FDA in 2013 and then just recently with our new indications for 2020. There's been over 30 RCTs uh, on the technology. Most of them are available on, uh, on our website. You can also Google Scholar, uh, Pub, PubMed, and um, you know, uh, search, search sustained acoustic medicine, long duration ultrasound, and most of the articles will pop up. It's covered by most insurance carriers for athletes, military medicine, um, colleges, professional athletes, uh, veterans. Uh, so, and we're trying to broaden access on a daily basis as we educate more uh, insurance carriers and nurse case managers on the technology. Um, we're always up for doing a webinar or educational event. And then the big differentiators here are the dose. So SAM delivers 20,000 joules of energy per treatment. Uh, that's unprecedented. It's part of the uh, algorithm that we can do it safely with the lens. And that's why SAM is effective. So delivering it four hours a day, five to seven days a week uh, for eight to 10 weeks will resolve most uh, itises and otises uh, for soft tissue injuries. Uh, and for the college athlete or professional athlete, usually it resolves quite a bit faster than that. So thank you for your time today. And if you have any questions, feel free to ask me or you can email us at uh, help or info at samrecover.com or, uh, you know, uh, reach out through us through the seminar. Thanks for your time.